Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we are back and we are working on the M3 tonight. Uh, we have a ton of carbon fiber parts up on the wall that are drying are in different stages of being finished. So we have two projects tonight that we plan on working on. Well, three. We have to put some resin on those five uh, carbon fiber pieces, but we are working on this lower section of the um, fender. So as you guys know, my fender is spaced out from the felony form, and it has this lower section that is carbon fiber, has some other carbon fiber parts on it, but I had that little vent thing and a whole bunch of other things. But we are going to design something new tonight. So, my idea is I want something that... Buddy, come here. Comes in here, comes down, and shoots back out. And to do that, I want it to be a solid piece of carbon. Well, the, a one piece of carbon, like a, a solid form. And then I want two vents. Well, not vents, but fins, kind of. A fin here that runs along the bottom of this uh, trim line. And then one that runs right along the side skirt line. Uh, I'm old school, so we are going to do this out of cardboard and painter's tape. So, let's get to it, and I'm going to kind of show you guys what I kind of have mocked up. So... This is kind of the idea. If you guys have not seen my Instagram, go check it out. ArcSlave84. It's where I do a lot of my daily posts and, and, you know, posts and questions and stories and all that stuff. But this is kind of the idea that we are going to go with. So this piece will be made out of carbon fiber completely and then I want to make these fins removable so something that bolts in from the back or attaches from the front and you epoxy in however you want to do it going to be making it out of carbon fiber so it matches the fenders matches our uh, side skirt and everything like that and and kind of blends in pretty good um, so the idea is to actually make this and make a mold of this and do it where I can just boop, boop, and pop it in and out. Um, so that is something that I'm going to have to kind of play with because I want these friends to be a little bit longer. I want them to come to the end of this piece. And I kind of want this piece to mold into the, the shape of the body a little bit more so it feels more uniform. But we will see what we get when we start really messing with it. Um, my next step is I have to figure out how I'm actually going to make this out of carbon fiber. So, I don't actually know. I got the shape and everything. Um, I don't. I don't know if I'm just going to overlay the carbon fiber. I mean, the the cardboard then pop it off from behind and rip the carbon fiber out and then I have a carbon fiber piece or should I cover this in body filler and then make a mold of it pop a mold with gel coat pop it out and then make multiple of them um cause I gotta make two one for this side one for the other side it's not gonna be a universal piece where I can flip it it's gonna be a one-off piece so we need to think about this some more but that's the general design guys now we also have a second project what you see here is an OEM I believe it's a sedan wing and I believe the only difference between the sedan wing and the coupe wing is like an inch or something I don't know but if we set this on 
the coop, you can tell it's kind of there. Kind of works, kind of looks there, but it will not be going on this car. Not at all. But we are using this for mock up. Uh, so this is an OEM wing. It's the arched wing, not the flat, so it's got the little bow in it. So we are using this wing as a mold for a flipper wing. So if you guys remember my little UUC's got a little carbon fiber flipper on it. I am working on designing one for the OEM wing so that all of you guys out there that have the OEM wing on your M3, you'll be able to buy this flipper, screw one, no, screw like two holes and mount this on super simple. It'll be straightforward, easy to do, it's going to be great. So let's get this thing set up and get ready to start making a mold from it. So what we need to do first is I need to get the third brake light out or the wing brake light so that we can um, work around this because our flipper wing, I, I have to work with it because I don't know if it's going to have a cutout for the light or if it's just going to cover the whole light. But that's something we're going to have to figure out. So let's get this light out of here. So we can see what we're working with. Okay, well that lens is not going to come out. Regardless of what we try to do. That, that screw is completely rusted and the head's gone on it. So we're going to have to work around this whole situation. So what we're looking at. This, this wing is really rough and really dirty. But we are looking for just the overall shape of it. So what we have here is we have a piece of Lexan, um, ah, on here, and what we're going to do is this is going to be our, our kind of our base to work off of. So what we're going to do is we are going to set the wing down, and because we want this wing to have a upward arch this what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this down I'm gonna angle this up prop it up and we're gonna fill this whole void with foam and we're gonna foam it to the shape of this so we're gonna try to coat this as well as we can so that when it dries we can pop it off shape it make it what we want it, how we want it, what we want it to look like. And then from there we can make a mold. So we'll fiberglass over top of it. We'll make it look exactly how we want it to look. And then we'll pull a mold for a top and bottom piece. And then we'll make a mold and then we can just pop them out and start making these things. So let's get this wing cleaned up enough that we can get it taped up, propped up, and ready to go for all of our foaming. So now that we have it all taped up how we kind of want it, well, where we're going to be foaming, we need to, because we're flipping this over and going to foam it from behind, we need to have some cardboard in the areas. Oh, my knife. Let me get my knife. So now that we have the wing on the underside taped up, we're going to be filling it with foam from the backside. So we need kind of the shape coming up of what we kind of want our shape to be so that when we fill it with foam, this has something to kind of take the shape of that so that we're not doing a lot of extra work. So we're gonna cut this cardboard to kind of this shapeish, and we're going to tape it down and then flip it over. So we have a makeshift flipper which we're going to backfill with foam, etc. But we're going to flip this over 
support the middle of the wing. This is going to kind of push down and we are going to get ready to foam. So, as you see, we have our wings supported, we have our cardboard backing, we have all our area where we kind of want this wing to start and run is taped up so that we don't hurt the wing underneath and it's also easy to remove. We also have our uh, cardboard ready to go and we have our plastic laminate underneath just in case stuff overfills or whatnot. So, we are ready to foam. We're going to get out our spray foam, foam this up, let it sit. It's going to pop off, go overnight, everything. Then we're going to jump back over to these uh, center, I mean the dashboard carbon fiber, put a coat of resin on those, and then we have to let everything dry. And we're going to pop back over to the fenders, and we're going to actually figure out what we're doing with those. Made some changes to the kind of design last minute, how I always do it. So now we are just using the spray insulation foam. I found that this stuff works the best. It expands, it works, it carved pretty good. You can fiberglass over top of it pretty darn well. So that is what we're going to do to make this shape so that we can move forward. So we are That is what we kind of want the flipper to look like. Well, the size overall for the OEM wing. So that is done and that has to dry. So now we are going to do a coat of resin on top of these, these, and then we'll get back to this. I don't know if we'll get back to that tonight, but we're going to do this, and then we are going to be done for the night. I don't know if this is the end of the video. If it is, like, comment, subscribe. A lot more stuff coming up. We actually get to do some fun design work, which we love to do, versus the overlay. I love doing overlays. And most of these are sold. Some of those aren't. Some eh, one or two of these aren't. Still have a lot of work to do on those stuff. But we really love the design work. So stay tuned for more unique designs coming out of out of this garage. And we will see you next time.